Hey guys, welcome back. I've got Wiggles a little better taken care of now. I've got him some uh, some cooling vents over here, so he is uh, he's not being too much of a princess now. Uh, but uh, yeah, he was uh, basically you know he doesn't really have a problem with the enclosure. Uh, like I said, we've got his little um, got his little island over here with a bed. Then behind the waterfall, I actually have him a little bit of hard shelter. Um, with some bedding down in there so he can kind of get away from the people if he wants to. Um, I am just totally, um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pause this because we are just hemorrhaging money um, on this mode. You know, the thing about the franchise mode, I know it actually, like I know it has its uses and this is the mode that they really need to test. But I mean, honestly with you guys, once the once November 5th gets here, I can promise you I will never click on this mode ever again. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I am just a sandbox player. I don't really have really any interest in the, uh, in, you know, trying to keep up with the money and all that stuff. And I just want to get in here and build crazy exhibits and, and bring in all kinds of animals and all that stuff. So, like I said, I just, I think after, you know, after this beta is over, you'll really never... Uh, never see me on this again. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be harsh about it, but that's just kind of the reality of my gameplay style. I hate having to, um, worry about the money and all that. And now here I am down to 133 bucks. Um, I'm going to have to take out a loan or just totally abandon this place and, uh, and go in and make another franchise. So it's like I said, it's just not really, not really my cup of tea here, but nonetheless, let me get in here. I'll show you some of these, um, some of these Indian pieces that I unlocked last night through the research. Check some of this out here. Matter of fact, we'll I've got a little spot out here. I cleared out without any high grass. And let's see, um, lights, really, really cool lights. Starting out with this Indian street. I mean, some of this stuff, especially some of you Planet Coaster players, you guys are going to be like, what the crap? We would die for this type of scenery uh, in in uh, in Planet Coaster. So, but yeah, see, they've got all these little cool lights. Look at this Indian Indian metal hanging light. Look at all this. Actually, you know what? Right now, I can't even afford to lay a bunch of this down. Metal mounted. Really, really cool texture on that. Then those are your generic ones. Um, let's see what else do we have. Floor lights, lamp posts. Um, let's see. Props. Yeah, check this out. Indian auto rickshaw. This is what we saw on one of those screenshots. Look at the detail on that. Like, look at the rust right there on the outside of the wheel well going across the bottom. That is really, 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 really cool. I thought that F11 bow, I thought that was like maybe the art team did like a uh, an Easter egg, like a shout out to bow. Really, really cool on that. All these awesome carpets you can put in front of your little facades, in front of your buildings. As a matter of fact, over here, that's what I actually did. Um, as soon as I unlocked it, that's probably why I've went broke. Um, as soon as I unlocked the Indian theme, I kind of covered some of my main little areas with some of this stuff. So see. Um, let's see. Indian fabric rolls. Love those columns back there. I'll show you those in a minute. Little Indian rolls. Fencing. A couple different styles of fencing. Really like that one. Flower sack. Little apples. Apple pile. Bananas. Really cool market little cart. Indian market drink. It's like some of this stuff, it's like they've they've kind of used a bunch of TMTK ideas from Planet Coaster. And of course, the cool little pots and all that. Little gold one. Tea crates. Like I said, on these two, I just keep going back to the texture. 
really cool telegraph pole. And I still don't think I've unlocked all of this. Tradesman cart. Really, really awesome little wooden boat here. Check that out. Look at the like the look at the distress on the wood, like where the paint's chipped away. Really awesome. And then of course a bunch of different flag banners. Nice, nice fencing. Nice kind of almost copperish texture on that. This uh this Planet Zoo log right here, this is like my favorite piece in the game so far. I think I'm just, I'm a, such a foliage nerd, but I love that log. It's definitely like, it's going to be like a staple going into every one of my exhibits. Let's see, what else we got here? So we went through those, um, architecture. Let's see what all we've got here. See what I haven't shown you yet. Bunch of cool little Indian architect architecture pieces decorative toppers but this is um, kind of what you unlock with the Indian once you unlock the uh, the Indian uh, theme stuff obviously like I said with your uh, with your workshops your workshops and your mechanics actually have to research this stuff so until we get to sand, once, once we get to sandbox mode, all of this will be unlocked just, you know, right from the get go. But for right now, as far as franchise mode goes, you've got to research it and unlock it. And as a matter of fact, I'll show you how to do that. If you're sitting here and you want to know how to get the Indian stuff, click down here on your zoo, zoo tab. Then right here, see your market or your mechanic research. Click on that, and right here, Indian theme. See how I already have my level one done? But I've got my Gladys, my, uh, my mechanic right here. Take her, drag her over, and drop her. And then see, it starts turning green. She is researching more Indian-themed blueprints for me. And uh, if, there's, if there's, like, see, there was so much scenery in the Indian theme, it says lots. If there's only under the, under 10, they tell you how many it is. So like, okay, the, the classic theme, which I haven't researched yet, that'll be for another video, lots. So there's more than 10 once you unlock that. So we'll, we'll get one of our mechanics on that. But that's how you do it. Same way with your veterinarians. Um, they can unlock uh, different diseases, um, different, um, you know, genetic, uh, genetic configurations for the animals. And right here you can see... Um, I could uh, like I could I could assign a vet right now to unlock more enrichment items for Wiggles, but I just I don't have a vet hired right now because I'm already going broke as it is, and the vet is like the most expensive staff member that you can actually even hire in the game right now. <laughs> so that is uh, that is kind of what's rolling on with that. Oh, you know, speaking of Wiggles enclosure, I think what I'll do. Let me I'll bring you out here and show you. I don't have enough money to actually place it down again right now, but in my blueprints, check this out. I have copied over Wiggles' um, enclosure. So I mean, I'll get that on the workshop. Maybe we'll wait. Um, I'll try to maybe do it better once the real game launches. Um, we'll just kind of see if there's some workarounds to where we get to keep this possibly. I know there's always talk about not being able to keep saved games and, and blueprints not making the jump, but um, if they do, we'll try to Maybe even if not, I've kind of got, you know, I've got the idea in my head. Maybe I can make it again once the real version drops out. Because I know a lot of you guys were asking me about, can I get this on the workshop? Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll throw that up on there. And also, too, look, I was doing like, like I started like a little weird Tiger Temple type uh, enclosure where the, you know, all of this down here is water, but the tigers can actually get up and they can either rest in that tunnel area or they can go through it over to the back side of the tiger enclosure. So yeah, guys, I mean, I have got a lot, a lot of ideas rolling. Um, unfortunately, I just think a lot of them are going to have to wait uh, until the sandbox mode comes out. 
But um, what else can we do here? Oh, I guess I can at least show you. Let me get in here and show you guys some of my favorite trees. Let's just jump in here and I'll show you kind of what we have coming our way here. Really, really love how these bamboo, how this come out. Awesome, awesome texture on these. Really, really tall. They've got you some short ones. Um, they've got you some bushier ones, of course. Um, what else do we have here? Lots and lots of ferns. That's what we were, that's what we were sorely missing in uh, in Planet uh, Coaster was the ferns. Little black poplar. Love these brackens right here. These are really really cool filler plants for your exhibits. Ah, another thing too, they did really, really well. Look at the texture on some of these, um, some of these dead trees. Is that not killer right there? Really, really cool. And they give you some tall ones too, like this broken Himalayan pine. Um, you can kind of turn these over, lay them on their side. And like I said, when the new, when the full release comes out, guys, we'll do a bunch of tutorials. Um, I'll show you how to use the controls and all that. Like right now, if I choose this broken pine. And I like to see I've got it out here on my screen. If you hit the X key right on your keyboard, then you can move it and manipulate it any way you want. Now, it's not like the Sims. You can't make this stuff bigger. But as far as moving it any direction you want to, um, you definitely will be able to do that. Another thing I really, really love in love with these bullish um, cattails right here. They did an awesome, awesome job on these. These, I'm not too sure about the Campion Moss. Those uh, look a little, I mean, they look all right, but they just kind of leave a little to be desired. I'm just, I'm not sold on the texture, really. Um, what else do we have down here I think you guys will like? There's this one massive tree. Kind of reminds me of, um, of the Wildwood tree in Dollywood. Let me see if I can show you that. Where is that tree? I am absolutely adoring it. I just can't think. Let's just go into trees only. Because they give us a slew of rocks, uh, rock options as well. Got the oak trees from Planet Coaster. Where is that? If I didn't have you guys here watching me, I could find it instantly. But of course, when I'm actually looking for it. I don't see it right off bat. Really, really gorgeous cherry blossoms here. Any of you guys doing your, um, you know, doing your Japanese type builds, I think will really, really appreciate the cherry blossoms. I'm gonna have to take out a st another stinking loan just to be able to show you guys this tree. If you need to take out a loan, click on zoo again, go into finances, loan tab right there. Take out a little 5,000 loan. Let's just see here. I know I'm keeping you guys for a while, but I gotta show you the texture of this tree. Not the cork wood. It's whichever one it is, it's massive. Nope, that's not it. And it's it kind of almost like wraps around itself. Not the mangrove. Ah, here it is, the Wimba tree. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Really, really awesome tree. And as a matter of fact, look, they give you a bunch of different variations as well. And here's the third one, a little bit smaller. But I think that right now is my favorite tree in the game. Really, really cool. And let's see, what else do we have here? These are, oh, these lobster claws. They're really, really cool. Love that. Oh, and one of my, one of my buddies also wanted me to show you guys the Zoopedia. He wanted to see what the common... The West African lion was. So we'll go over that for this. We'll do that for this video. So West African lion, 
critically endangered. And by the way, the Zoopedia, if you might have seen it on their socials and stuff, this is what they're talking about. It gives you all the general information and very detailed information like the research status and all that um, on each animal that's in the game. Now, of course, that this will be the full Zoopedia list once the full game comes out. But right now, they've got it set up um, to show you what's as far as what's in the beta um, you can access. So this is how that starts out. Uh, the natural habitat, they show you that. Africa, of course, Senegal, Mali, Niger, uh, biomes, of course, savannah. Um, they even show you the habitat requirements. Um, you can see right here, they don't have any height requirements. They don't necessarily need to be up in the air. They give you the size, the, uh, the water. They see they don't necessarily even need um, that. They show you the temperature. Species data, group size, 3 to 30, one male up to 30 females. Male bachelor group size, 3 to 4, female bachelor, 3 to 30. Male dominated species, uh, promiscuous mating system, relationship with humans, confident. Can guests enter habitat? Uh, no. <laughs> Life expectancy, you've got 14 years on male and female. Age of sexual maturity, three years after they will stop breeding at 15 years. Uh, they, will, they can have a litter of one to six cubs per mating event. And they will be pregnant in game for uh, three months. Let's see, interbirth period, 36 month. And they breed really easy in the game, in captivity. Research stories, this is all of kind of your stuff that, that you can find out and unlock about them. Interspecies enrichment. And world record. So all of this stuff will be, um, you know, it, it'll, it'll, the data and all that will be kept up with as the life of, of you know, Planet Zoo goes on. Let's be cool to see if you can keep one um, alive the longest and, uh, you know, th this will, your name will actually be on here um, as far as the whole Planet Zoo community goes worldwide. So that is pretty, pretty neat. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to jump in and give you a little bit of a heads up kind of about what's going on. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I hope to keep these videos going um, for the next, you know, two weeks, but I think it'll be little nitpicky stuff kind of that you guys ask me about and, you know, just kind of designing little, I'll, I'll probably have to just keep deleting these zoos and making new ones. So the $40,000 or whatever it is starts over and maybe we'll do some speed builds and all that and let you guys just kind of get in here and see what you think about some of the different enclosures and stuff we come up with. And I'll try to show off some more animals, but yeah, guys, so let me know what you kind of want to see next or what you're most interested in, and uh, we'll try to cover it right here on the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm SDN Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.